Are you wanting to know if you should allow your dog to sleep in your bed? In this video, I'm actually gonna help you answer that question by going over five pros and cons of allowing your dog in your bed, as well as go over a survey I conducted with 1,700 dog owners responding. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. Over here walking around is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. And today is more of a general dog video because I wanted to find out how many dog owners actually allow their dog to sleep in their bed. And the numbers actually surprised me. So I went ahead and surveyed three of the Boston Terrier Society communities Facebook, Twitter, as well as YouTube, and I had over 1,700 dog owners respond. So I wanna go over those statistics now and then get into the pros and cons list, hopefully allowing you to come to a decision should you allow your dog to sleep in bed with you. So first, with Twitter, I had 218 people responded with 163 or 75% saying yes, they allow their dog to sleep in bed with them, with 55 or 25% saying no, they do not. Now what's interesting, now when I take this to Facebook and YouTube, as far as the statistics, it's all pretty much the same. We're at Facebook, 626 votes, but 77% or 483 said yes, while the remaining 23% said no. Then I go to YouTube with 915 votes and 67% of them said yes, they allow their dog in bed with them with the remaining 33% saying no. But now overall with 1,759 votes, I had 72% of them saying yes, they allow their dog in bed with 28% saying no, they do not. And I also looked at other statistics with other websites and other surveys I found online. And pretty much across the board, out of four dog owners, three of them are gonna allow their dog to sleep in bed with them. So this gives you a little insight as far as what normal dog owners allow. Now for Bella, she does not sleep in mine and Emily's bed. She actually sleeps at the foot of it. Well, it's actually in the bathroom, it's right next to our bed. But she has her own little bed that she sleeps with and that's how it's been for her entire life. And she loves being in her little bed. Um, hey, well, this little bed right here, but now she's over there. So if you're on the fence on whether or not you should allow your dog to actually sleep in bed with you, then here are the five pros and the five cons. First, starting with the five pros. Coming in at number one, it actually reduces depression. Now, the information I'm sharing here is from other website articles that I found online. Those references can be in the show notes below, but it reduces depression in the sense that it increases your oxytocin and reduces your cortisol levels because touching an animal, just like touching another human, releases that love hormone. And this is the same kind of thing that newborn babies get with their mother to actually help increase their bond or connection. So if you're single, I mean, this could be a good option to help fight depression. Pro number two, it actually increases your sense of security because obviously having a dog right next to you, you're gonna know if somebody comes into the room where you might be unaware of it if you were by yourself. So if you're having trouble sleeping due to some you know, situation like that, having your dog sleep in your bed could be beneficial. Coming in at number three, it reduces loneliness. So thebark.com actually references a study where 41% of dog owners who allow their dog to sleep in their bed, they stated it eliminated their loneliness. Coming in at number four, having your pet sleep in bed with you can actually reduce your blood pressure. And then coming in at number five, which kind of goes back to number one, but it does increase the bond with you and your dog. So in theory, you're gonna have a deeper bond with your dog versus someone who does not allow their dog to sleep in their bed. Now let's go over the five cons. Now, to be honest, it was harder to come up with cons for allowing your dog to sleep in your bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and list them because I think they are beneficial if you're on the fence and you're trying to consider. So coming in at number one for me, does your partner agree with allowing your dog in your bed? So if your partner doesn't want your dog in the bed, then you probably shouldn't allow it but that's totally a personal decision for you and your family. Coming in at con number two, if you're a light sleeper, maybe having a dog in the bed is not the best option. Coming in at number three, and this is really my personal reason that Bella doesn't sleep in our bed. <laughs> she's flipping her bed around. She's upset about something. Actually, there's carrots in there and she's trying to get them. But coming in at number three are extra dirt and debris in your bed, as well as hair. That's something that I do not like, even when my kids, like they'll sneak in there and eat a cookie or something on my bed, it drives me crazy. I don't like crumbs or anything in my bed. And that's why we don't allow Bella in our bed. Coming in at number four, if for some reason your dog's overly aggressive, I 
do not recommend having your dog sleep with you because you don't want an accident happening in the middle of the night. So overly aggressive dogs probably aren't the best to sleep with. And you are gonna wanna find a professional to help you with that aggression. Now, coming in at number five are allergies. Of course, if you're an allergy sufferer, of even the slightest bit, you're not gonna want your dog in your bed because that just increases the exposure. Now, once again, I did just wanna even it out as far as five and five. I feel like the cons are very obvious and it really seems, based on the pros and cons, if you're a single individual and you don't mind your dog in bed, there are a lot of benefits of having your dog sleep with you in bed. Now, once there's a couple involved, then it's a little bit harder because a lot of those things like loneliness, security, as well as reducing depression with touch, can be eliminated once you have a partner in bed with you. So once again, it's totally a personal decision. Three out of four dog owners allow their dog to sleep in bed with them. My question of the day to you is, what do you think the pro is or the con of allowing your dog to sleep in your bed? Go ahead and put it in the show notes below because this could be an ongoing discussion to help people that come to this video and just learn more and get deeper insight on this question, should you allow your dog to sleep in bed with you? Now, if you wanna learn more about Boston Terrier specifically, you can check out this video I did, 20 reasons why they're the best dog brain in America, or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston.